Amanda here from ScreenFilmMommy.co.uk Today we're going to make this awesome card, it's a flower pot card So <laughs> it's really lovely, it's fun to decorate, nice and easy And then you pull the flowers at the top to reveal your um, card where you can write your sentiment you could turn it into a gift card holder or anything. It could be a nice insert for a journal. Um, there's lots and lots of uses for it, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, I work in inches, but I will leave all of the measurements in centimetres over on my blog at scrimpingmommy.co.uk, along with a list of all the products. So first of all, we're starting with crumb cake um, cardstock, and this has been cut to three and a half inches by nine. And then on the long side, we've scored it at two inches and five and a half inches. We're folding that one forward and that one back, okay, like that. So the small flat goes forward and the larger one goes back. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to turn it over, um, and we're going to just measure very carefully quarter of an inch in from each side going from the corner I'm going to make a little pencil mark okay can you see what I'm doing let me just zoom in so I'm just measuring quarter of an inch from the outside in and leaving a pencil mark okay and then I'm going to do the same at this side and this is going to be a guide for us to then join that dot with the top corner okay and it's going to help us create that just a bit of a plant pot shape to our card base. All right, really simple, very easy. It's nothing new, I've not invented it. <laughs> it's been around forever. Um, but it's fun, it's fun to do. Let me just. And if you do it in pencil, then you can always rub it out or redo it if you don't get it quite straight. So, what you want to do is you don't want to cut any of this flappy bit here. So you're just cutting up these lines here and just grabbing, you can do it on your trimmer if you want. Um, I find it just as quick to do it with a pair of scissors. Okay, so we're leaving that top bit as is. I'll just turn and cut downwards on this one just because it's easier. All right. And that gives us our plant pot shape to our card. So on this flap here, I'm going to use a decorative punch. It's contraband, it's non-stamping up because I don't have a decorative stamping up one. That leaves you a border. So just grab what you've got. If you don't have one, use fancy scissors or maybe you've got a die or, or you could just leave it plain. just looks cuter if it's got a decorative edge. Okay, just line that up, there we go, so that's my decorative edge. Right, am I in shot? Yes I am. So there we are so far, and then you want to cut um, two pieces of cardstock that are going to be your insert. So this one measures two and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then the stamp layer here measures two and three quarters by four and three quarters. I'm going to round the corners on all of these, on all four, just to make it look nicer. Uh, so I'm using my, uh, whatever this is called, I've forgotten, triple something punch. <laughs> I'm guessing. I'll leave everything that I use, I'll leave it over on my blog as I say and I'll leave you a link in the description box below also please you know do subscribe and press the notification bell and um, so you don't miss any of my um, tutorials so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink all of this and I'm using crumb cake okay. so I'm going to ink all of my card base just to emphasize all the detail there and you know give it a bit of a a vintage plant pop <laughs> type of feel And when I'm happy 
with that I'm just going to quickly do the same here uh, I like inking the edges the reason being it gives a nice soft pronounced definition to the edge of your card and if you're using a white against a coloured background sometimes it can look a little bit um, stark and bright so it helps to kind of blend it in I know what I mean <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly stamp on my sentiment I'll just get this piece of scrap card um, and I'm using what am I using? Old Olive and Stairs On, not Stairs On, Memento Tuxedo Black for my sentiment. And the stamp set that we're using today is the Daisy Lane. So I'm going to use this one here. The best moments in my life happen with you. And this is an awesome set because there is a brand new punch to go with it. And those of you um, who bought this one last year, the Daisy Delight, the larger daisy there um, does coordinate with this set and obviously we've got the large daisy punch so we've got two sizes of daisy punch now the large one and the small one they all coordinate nicely and you've also got in this set a second large daisy stamp to go with that one okay so that's that, that's telling your tale about that <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my sentiment first and I'm aiming for the bottom cut, bottom section of this rather than the top. So I don't want it in the middle. I want it aiming towards the bottom. Like so. Okay. Move that out of the way now. The reason being that that part there is going to protrude over the top of your card. So you don't want your sentiment too high up. Then I'm just using this lovely fern. And I'm just going to do some decorative stamping. Um, some of that at the top will get covered, but it's fine. Okay. And that gives us our little insert for inside. I can move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. And I can now glue this together. Okay. Oops, that's coming out a bit fast. And that will layer on there nicely okay am I still in shock do I need to zoom out ever so slightly I do apologize let me zoom out there we go so that's laid in there nicely and that's going to be your insert so let's carry on working on the card so what I've done before um, hand is I've taken a strip of DSP now this is from the um, pressed petals paper DSP and I've just taken a border sliver from one of the pieces and I've backed it on a, some white card with a very tiny increment so the paper measures about three quarters of an inch and then the white card behind measures one inch so it's a very small increment and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer this I'm going to look I want it so that you know it's even so that that pink flower's in the middle <laughs> okay so just going to Put some glue on there and then put it, line it up where I want it, which is there. Give that a press. Okay, is that straight? That's fairly straight. And then I'm just going to trim that so that it's at the same angle as the side of my plant pot. Okay, oops, I've just Try not to cut your card base, like I've just nicked mine ever so slightly, never mind, um, just slightly nicked it. Give it another ink, okay, okay, so that's that bit done. And then what we do to close our card is we use a little piece of ribbon and here I'm using the Rococo Rose, I think it is. I keep calling it Rocco Rose. I don't know why. Rococo Rose. This is a, um, what's it called? Gathered ribbon. So I'm just wrapping it around. So I'm not gluing any of this. I'm going to just use a little piece of ribbon to keep it, to keep it shut. Okay. And I'm just going to tie it in a very simple kind of square knot. I'm not awesomely brilliant at these. 
think. But I'll do my best. Put that one around there like so. And then pull it like that. There we go, that's not bad. If it doesn't lie quite how you want it to, stick a glue dot on it. And then I'm just going to angle the ends, one going one way and one going the other. And I am just going to grab a glue dot because it's not it's not sitting exactly how I want it to. So that doesn't matter, that's what glue dots are for. <laughs> so grab myself a glue dot and there we go. Now my ribbon will sit exactly where I want it. There we go. Lift that up ever so slightly. There we go. That's that problem solved with a glue dot. And then I do have a little die cut that I've cut from um, Well Written Thinlets. I have he, I just have a stash of them to hand so that I've always got some because I'm absolutely in love with it and I'm adding them to lots of projects at the moment. Too much glue there. Dot some glue on the back of here. Everybody's got their own little way of handling these little die cuts. You can use the self-adhesive, um, you know, the special paper that you can die cut on and then it peels off. And on this one we're having thanks. Okay, just give that a press. There we go, okay. So now all we need to do, we can slide our insert in there, like so, inside the top of the card. All right, and then we decorate this top part with our flowers. So let's start and make the flowers and the leaves like this one. So I've prayed on some of it. I'll just lift all of my, so there's all my items over. What's that I've just dropped? Memento, not to worry. Okie doke, so I've used the small daisy flower stamp. So I'll just demonstrate that really quickly on some scrap. So, I used Rococo Rose, which is one of our new colours, and I find I like it better when it's stamped off. Um, so that's the first generation, and that's the second, and then I even like the third. I think that as you go down, um, it just gets even nicer. So that's that one. And then all we have to do is punch it out. Super easy. And what I've also done beforehand is I have also used my large daisy punch that I got last year and I've punched out several of the large ones. Just in plain white, here they are. Just in plain white and one of the small ones in plain white. And then here's my little Rococo Rose one. I've got one already done. And this is the one I've just stamped, so I'm going to do some shaping. I thought if I did some of it before filming then it would be quicker, but I want to show you, you know, bits of it. So then you just add some glue on the back of there, layer them up, making sure they alternate in the, in the gappy bits. Okay, make sure I'm in shot. Okay, and then with the white one here, um, you can layer them up with dimensionals. In fact, I'll just grab some. Everything's falling off of the shelves today. It's going to be one of them days. Okay, so I'm going to layer the larger flower up with dimensionals. It just gives you, well, obviously, extra dimension. Okay, I'll just make that flower appear a little bit fuller. So for the small flower there, we want we want a smaller one in the middle of there. And then we're going to add a small one. 
Okay, so we've got three layers, two layers from the large daisy punch, large daisy punch, and one layer from the small daisy punch. And then I'm just going to grab some Daffodil Delight ink and a sponge dauber. Okay, and very, very lightly just flick over the ends. You can do this individually before you stick the petals together if you like. Okay. And then just dot a bit around in the centre like so. And then what I've done is I've added one of the glitter enamel gems which I think are adorable. So we'll have that one in the centre of our large dozer like so. Okay. And then I'll just let me just give that a press to make it a bit more pronounced and then add some glitter gems to the centre of those before we put the gems away. I'll drop them on the floor. Uh, you know, either way. <laughs> All right, so that's our flowers made. So let's just bob them to one side because now we need some leaves. Okay, I'm going to punch about five out. One, two, three, four, five, and one for good luck. How easy are our punches? Um, you know, if you don't have a die cut machine or you're crafting wanting to be a bit quicker, you can just punch them out super easy. Um, so that's the leaf punch. So for these, I just do a little line just to give a little bit of shape. Just so it's not completely flat. But, you know, it's not essential. Um, all right. So, put my collection of leaves there, get my glue ready, and let's get decorating. So, I find it easier to decorate it with the insert in, and then you can see where your boundary is, because you don't want to go any lower than that, or else you won't be able to get your card in. So, I'm going to just glue the back of here, like so, on the far corner. And before that fully dries, I'm going to quickly get a leaf glued up and put that behind there in case I need to just move my flower out a bit. But that's fine. Okay, so we've got a leaf behind that one. All right, and I'll put another one just down here. This is the fun part, the decorating. I love decorating things. Uh, you know, and using what you've got to make them look pretty. Make sure that you, you know, you've got a bit of shape and they're sticking out a bit. There's still plenty of room there to put it in a card, in an envelope, I beg your pardon. Or, you know, at the end of the day, we can make our own card where um, it's not a problem. All right, so I'm going to put that one there. Move it up slightly and then I'll put this one in the far corner and just tuck it just underneath that one. Okay, so we're building up a little bit of layers. I'm going to add some a leaf behind this one. Try and get it before it all dries and I can't manoeuvre it about. There we go. Stick that under there. And we'll have another one. And then just fill in, you know, the gaps kind of where you can see bits of the card. Um, I'm adding leaves to make it look like a full, cute flower pot. Just press that a minute so that it dries. And lift that. I want that underneath there. My layers are getting all skew with. Just let, need to lift that petal. That's it. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. All right. And then we want a couple of leaves up here. Just 
shall have all that. Like so. And a one at the other side. You could even put another flower in there if you wanted to. Put that one in there. Lift them petals over. And we've got a nice... Oops, that one don't want to stick. Come on. Don't be naughty. Is that stuck now? Just use my poker tool to flick those petals because I want them on the top. And there we go. We've created another one. So I think that's really, really easy to follow. I think it's a lovely little idea. Um, I leave all of the details over on my blog at scrimpymummy.co.uk. If you decide to make one, please do tag me on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. I love seeing what you make. Go and give it a try. Thanks for watching.